to introduce you our Zigbee Lighting Control System for industrial application. This is a system composed of app control, manual control, and sensor control. See, these are some features for the app of mobile phone. We can do area, scene, and schedule control. And because it's a two-way communication system, it allows you to track the energy measurement and get failure alerts and check real-time status of each device or a group of device or an area of the device. And these are some more features that you can get from our mobile phone app. Since some customer will require PC control, then we introduced the web server here. And these are the features that only the web server have, yet the mobile phone doesn't have. Okay, let's take a closer look at our high bay solution. We offer two kinds of solution. One is Zigbee controller, which is going to connect to a common dimming driver. The second solution is a Zigbee driver, where there are already Zigbee module inside. So you don't need any extra common dimming driver anymore. All right, these are some main feature of the high bay control system. First feature, dimming. We can do individual or group dimming or by setting different scenarios to dim the fixture to the right brightness. And we can set different schedules to have a better control. And as you can see here, we can do motion sensor control and daylight sensor control. These are for more automatic dimming. And of course, because we need to have some manual use for our daily use. So that's why we introduced switch and remote control. Over the air update, we call it OTA upgrade. It's important to have such a function whenever a customer finds a small bug or would like to add some extra function to our existing system. We can do the programming at our site and once this is done, the customer can simply update the Zigbee device by his mobile phone with the internet access. So this is quite important. About the two-way communication, as you can see, this is the energy measurement function. So all data will be listed day by day and they can be generated into reports. Failure alerts, if it's from our server app, you will find which one is failed and where it is. And also you can get the report of failure alerts as well. And real-time status here, you see, you are able to see the, the used life, the status of the lamp, if it's off or if it's on, then what kind of brightness it is and where it is, which is very clear. All right, this part is for Zigbee high bay control and we had solution for the linear light as well two drivers one 45 watts the other one is 80 watts and functions are quite the same it's with power metering and we have two versions it could be a simple dimming driver or a CCT plus dimming driver and we can do individual or group dimming or CCT changing and we do scenario schedule for um, some automatic control and motion and daylight to dim automatically and as well the switch over the air update and two-way communication all right so these are two application solutions that we offer and let's see what we have in total for industrial lighting control. As you can see here, this is uh, an IP20 controller 3M, and this one is IP65. This one could be placed outside the high bay, yet the IP20 needs to be put inside the high bay, in the driver box or somewhere. And if it's a high power high bay, then we would recommend this one. It's a 10 ampere IP65 dimming controller. All these three can have 
energy measurement function. And now we are developing 150 watt driver ourselves. It's, it could be rectangular one or round one. All right. And we have a solution for outdoor, for stadium lights. You see, this is a big antenna which will support for 100 meter control. And of course, you need to use the gateway with 100 meter antenna as well. So, for example, for one pole, there are eight lamps in each pole. We will recommend you to have two of the big antenna for one pole and the rest with this one, 30 meters. So that um, all the signal will go around very well. All right, so these are for the industrial control. And you see here, we have a full range of ZB sensors. The motion sensor, the daylight sensor. For motion sensor, industrial application, we will recommend microwave motion sensor. One sensor can control one lamp, that's individual control, or can control a group of lamps. And it's a three-step dimming solution. This is the first level. We call it task level, and waiting level, and background level. So whenever the sensor sends somebody or the truck, the light will go to task level. But after, it will go to waiting level 40%, and still nobody, it goes to the background level 10%. This is how the motion sensor works. All right, and I would like to introduce you the daylight sensor as well. This one is a constant illuminance daylight sensor, which is good for industrial application where there are sky windows or anywhere that comes the natural light. Okay, so we can set a working plan of 500 lux. And all these lamps are bound to the light sensor to keep at a 500 lux. So this is how it works. Okay. And last, the daylight sensor and motion sensor can work together. It could be a daylight sensor and the microwave motion sensor. Whenever there's somebody, the daylight sensor will work to realize a constant lux, say 500 lux. Whenever there's nobody, the microwave sensor will work to keep at the waiting level or background level. So that's all for the introduction of the sensors. Finally, I would like to, to show you some projects that we've done with our system. The metal product factory, workshop, many factories, and these are warehouses. Mostly they're using the motion sensor to dim the lights by three levels. And if there are sky windows like this one, then they're using the daylight sensor as well to keep a constant lux. And also, we did some projects. This is a project in Czech, and this is a project from Belgium. It's quite a typical project for us. 30,000 pieces triple flight, 10 triple flights using one controller, and the controller is connecting to a daylight motion sensor.